If you have a sport style watch or a watch with a digital display, it is most likely powered by a lithium battery. Use this handy guide from Esslinger.com to learn how to change a lithium battery. The tools you'll need are a parts tray, a non-magnetic tweezers, a plastic tweezers, and finger cots. Before starting to change a rechargeable watch battery, you will first need to open the watch case back. To do this, you may also need to remove the watch band. For help with these things, click on the links. Put plastic finger cots on your fingers that may touch the watch movement. Dirt, oils, and grease on your fingers can damage the inner workings of the watch and the cot will keep that oil from transferring to the watch. Once you have removed the back, you may encounter a wide rubber or plastic gasket across the movement. Remove it and set it aside so you can access the battery. At this point, you will be able to see the battery. It will be held in place with a large strap that is a little like a cell strap, except that it is held partially under the battery. There may also be a sticker on the battery and strap with instructions for opening it. Watch movements are very delicate, and you should use the utmost caution when working with them to avoid damaging or moving their precision parts. Be particularly cautious of springs that stick out. While you should find the watch battery number at this point, the latch strap will prevent you from being able to see it. Use caution removing the old battery so you will not lose it and be unable to replace it. Find where the strap locks into place. There will be a small opening in the piece that holds the latch down. Take your non-magnetic tweezers and grip the metal latch piece in the opening. Then, carefully push the metal latch down with your tweezers before pulling them out toward you to release the metal latch. Now that the strap is open, take your plastic tweezers and grip the battery to remove it. You may need your non-magnetic tweezers to slip the battery out of its slot before you can remove it completely. Examine the battery and find the replacement number on it. Lithium batteries usually have a four-digit number preceded by two letters, generally CR. Set the old battery aside in case you need it again before you are done working on the watch. Using the number from the old battery, find your replacement battery. Take the new battery out of the package and pick the battery up with the plastic tweezers. Make sure that the side of the battery with the engraved number is facing upwards. Carefully lift up the latch strap and slide the new battery under it into the battery slot. Make sure that the plus side with the number is facing up. When the battery is under the strap, you may have to use your fingers to push it into place. Then, take your non-magnetic tweezers and grip the tab of the latch strap that locks into place in the movement. Holding the movement steady and in place with your free hand, reverse what you did to remove the latch. Push it down and then back toward the battery until it slips into place. Now that the latch strap is back in place, you need to restart the movement with the new battery. Take your non-magnetic tweezers and put one pointed tip in the hole marker as a negative charge. Place the tip of your tweezers in the AC port in the movement. Once both tips of the tweezers are in contact with the movement ports, your watch should be running again. Next, you can replace the wide rubber or plastic gasket over the movement to keep it cushioned away from the metal back. When you are done, you can discard or recycle the old battery and replace the watch case back. For information on how to close your watch back, check out these videos. To learn more about do-it-yourself watch repair, visit esslinger.com's Learning Center.